Hello, dear participants of the conference. I'm Anna Hallima, and I'm a coordinator of Estonian Safe Internet Center. And I'm very pleased to be invited here and to share information about our activities with you. So, actually, almost every European Union country has similarly structured Safe Internet Center, plus also Iceland, Norway, and Russia has. And all um, Safe Internet Centers in European Union countries is co-financed in extent of 50 percentages on the Connecting European Facility Programme. And now I'm going to tell about who we are and what we are doing. So, Estonian and Safe Internet Centre Project, Smartly on the Web, is a joint initiative of four organisations. Estonian Union for Child Welfare, Information Technology Foundation for Education, Estonian Advice Centre and Police and Border Guard Board. For achieving the main goals of our project, we provide services for raising awareness on safe and positive usage of internet and digital devices. The leading organization in this field is uh, Information Technology Foundation for Education. We provide a web-based hotline service for public to receive reports on web pages containing child sexual abuse material and hotline is operated by Estonian Union for Child Welfare. Children Helpline 116111, uh, operated by Estonian Advice Centre, provides counselling and help on online related issues for children, parents and other caregivers. Police and Border Guard Board contributes to the awareness raising and provides its expertise to Hotline and Helpline. The project has an advisory board, which is, um, consists of members uh, from uh, different organizations. They are from ministries, governmental agencies and NGOs, including target groups NGOs like Estonian Parent Association and uh, Informatics Teachers Association. Uh, advisory board members contribute to the project with their expertise and um, they are active members actually. They are not consult us only. They are also take part of our activities and uh, give by giving lectures to parents and workshops for children. So, the project has a youth panel, which is a main communication channel between the project and young people. It consists of 15 young people, aged 12 to, 15, to 18 years. And they are both performing as a consultancy group for us then we develop educational and informational material for children and young people. But they also consult us when we are developing materials for parents. They tell us what should be put there, what should parents do to their children. And the members of the youth panel are not only consultants, they themselves carry out workshops to their schoolmates, classmates and also younger students. So, a little bit more about our awareness raising events and, and activities. Estonian Safe Internet Centre has five years experience in carrying out awareness raising activities, workshops and interactive lectures in schools and kindergartens for children, young people, teachers and parents all over Estonia. As online safety is one component of digital competence, this work contributes to the implementation of school curricula. Via these workshops, we get information what young people and children are doing online, which possibilities they enjoy, which risk takes and which problems they experience. This information helps us then we develop educational materials for them. For motivating students to develop educational materials for their peers, we have organized different competitions that have been online as well. Sorry, do you hear me? as well as face-to-face -face events. At these face-to-face -face events, young people interact during implementing different tasks and thereby learn from each other and develop skills to use, how to use internet and digital devices wisely and safely. And as you see in the photos during the, these, in, these events, young people also have fun. And we have actually organized also summer schools where uh, young people from 
Finnish and from Latvian safe return centers have been invited to participate. We also de developed a various range of education and information and materials. We have received feedback from target groups that these materials are used widely. For example, lesson plans used at classes by teachers. Cartoons have turned out to be very popular among children, but also among young people and adults. All these materials are available on our websites. We have a main website called targaltinternetis.ee and then we have designed for and with young people website for them and as well as website for children. We also contribute at the Euro European level by sharing our knowledge and materials via Better Internet for Kids European platform. A student and Safe Internet Center is a part of European InSafe network and thus we have benefited from exchange of resources developed by other centers. We have translated them and adapting these. For example, cartoons, you see sheep lives, uh, also Luxem materials for young children um, developed by Luxembourg um, Safe Internet Center and also we have adapted, translated and adapted some Finnish Internet Safe Internet Center materials. So, there are some pictures about um, different awareness raising events for public and for smaller target groups, which we have been carried out for smaller target groups are teachers, social workers and other specialists. Every year we celebrate Safe Internet Day in February by organizing conferences and campaigns on relevant topics. We also invite schools to come along and carry out their own activities in their schools. In the framework of celebrating Safe Internet Day, we cooperate with different organizations. Sometimes we involve them, sometimes we are, have been invited to cooperate. So, being part of the Brujic Estonian and Child Upline, operated by Estonian Advice Centre, provides counselling for children and parents also on online related issues. They can be approached via phone, website and also via mobile application. For promoting their services, Child Helpline has organized also public campaigns and they have also shared information about their services at workshops in schools. The student hotline, Vihelin, is a free online service and it is aimed at contributing to stamping out child sexual abuse material from the internet. Circulation of child sexual abuse materials online violates children's rights, honor, dignity, corporal integrity and well-being. The service is an online service and enables internet users to report if they notice child sexual abuse material online. Report can be submitted via the form which is on the website without providing any personal data. And the hotline is operated by Estonian Union for Child Welfare and the main partner for achieving the goal in this work is Police and Border Guard Board. Estonian hotline is a member of InHope Association which involves hotlines all over the world. So, making internet a better place for all needs in international cooperation, as internet doesn't recognize borders. So, this was all what I wanted to share you. Thank you.